بٹ لیٹ می ٹیل یو وٹ ڈیپلی افیکٹیڈ اس بائی اس آئی مین دا انٹائر ٹیم آف جماعت اسلامی وومن ونگ دس انکلوڈس دوز ہو پلان دس کلاس ڈٹ پریپریشن فار ایٹ آل دا پیپل ہو آر انوالو ان ایٹ فرام کریٹنگ دا آئیڈیا ٹو کمپوزنگ دا پروگرام اینڈ دوز ہو پلان ڈٹ اینڈ ڈلیور ڈٹ ٹو یو دس ورک اسٹارٹیڈ ود دا ہیلپ آف اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ اینڈ ٹرسٹ ان ہم دا فیڈ بیک وی ریسیو فرام یو ٹرولی ٹچڈ آور ہارٹس آل آف دیز تھنگس ور ویری پریشیز Gradually, as this circle began to grow, it spread all over the country and all over the world too. This strengthened the belief that Allah's word, trust and any effort made for His sake has Allah's hand in it. The best thing is that Allah gave all of us the opportunity of Sitqa Ejariya. Up until now, we haven't met a single person who hasn't made new groups. One person is forwarding to others. So everybody should rejoice on the trade we have made with Allah. In Surah Tawbah, Allah speaks of the promise of the paradise. So inshallah, all people whom we sent and will send our message, it will all be Sitqa Ejariya for all of us. This thing kept us in a state of dedication that Allah is making us in charge of his work surely you must have felt it too this is allah's blessing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made us all work for his religion may allah be satisfied and happy with all of us now we begin the last ruba of just 30 which we had left off yesterday it begins with surah bayyana which is a madani surah as mentioned in the start that prophets and messengers whom allah has sent clarify and present the verses to the people so the truth may become evident and people won't be able to make any excuses that they didn't receive the message the people who differed later they were responsible for their own actions they couldn't say they didn't receive the guidance but they decided on their own they would not follow the guidance Next it says those who wish to follow the right and true path should purify and limit their worship to Allah and Allah alone they should be steadfast if they have moved towards something they should remain firm on it establish prayer and pay zakat then the outcomes of disbelief and belief have been talked about the fate will depend on the acts after this we come to surah zilzal which is a madani surah In the start it is said when the earth will be shaken all the burdens of the earth human beings you me people before us and the many secrets buried in the ground all will be brought out the earth will tell what people did on its surface the smallest act of good will be shown the smallest act of evil will be shown nothing will remain hidden any more next comes surah adiyat It starts with man's ungratefulness to his lord he doesn't thank allah despite witnessing everything around him the main reason is there is a great love for money and wealth everything which is in the graves and everything which is hidden away from the people in the chest they all will be brought out next is surah qari'ah which is a heart shattering surah it mentions the reality of the doomsday in the first phase people will be scattered The mountains will be flying like wool. The entire system will be out of order. In the second phase, everyone will appear before Allah. The books of deeds will be weighed. People whose books are heavy with good deeds will be in joy. People whose books are light will be in the hellfire. After this, we have Surah Takathur, which is also a Makki Surah. Here also it highlights a disease in the people. The Quran asks them, what do you truly want? You want as much as possible and you want it all everything is there anyone among us who does not have a wish list i want the next model of my phone i want clothes from a well known brand i want a bigger house than what i already have the list never ends in my life 
one bond ends and the next begins it has been highlighted here that we keep moving forward to pursue these things compete with others and set our targets by looking at others life is spent in this way and man reaches his grave then it says you will find out soon what was important and what wasn't what was to be done and what wasn't in which things the thirst was needed in which things you should have moved on it also says you will be asked about each of your blessings you had eyes given by allah where did you use them you had wealth your body hands and feet in fact the hadith mentions cold water is also a blessing of allah another blessing is the roof of my house on my head there are things in my house which make my life comfortable allah will hold me accountable for each of his blessings next is surah asr in this surah allah swears by time you want to stay away from the loss as far as possible it is a human nature hold on to four things faith good deeds advice of the patience and advice of the truth and we have been studying since the beginning spread goodness in the society when you forbid evil and enjoin good you will surely need patience encourage others to have patience also you just don't need to ask for the truth for yourself this is not enough you also need to spread this truth this gives people the form of a group so they become supportive of each other this is how we move forward next is surah humaza the man who humiliates others is condemned it can be in any form such as taunting people on their faces or speaking ill behind their backs every person who has this habit as well as those who have will they all have been condemned these evil acts are born due to the love of money it creates a sense of arrogance but the love of money is the root cause of many things wealth is not only cash and currency but it includes all those things which you collect and you keep counting all these things have been mentioned here in the end the warning of allah's blazing fire has been given it is extremely intense which we must try to avoid after this the story of the people of the elephants has been mentioned in surah feel when abraha brought elephants and a huge army with him the people of makkah were aware of this incident and they used to mention it as well when it says how allah destroyed that army with a small flock of swift ababil this incident is related and it is asked didn't their plan fail they had big plans when i was reading this i was thinking of the plans we had in 2020 we had many plans how all those plans ended allah plans the failure of that entire army so no one can stand against allah's power the reason for revealing this surah was also to give prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions reassurance and to condemn the disbelievers no one can stand before allah if he wants to deal with something he can even use a tiny creature of his for this purpose next is surah quraish which is a makki surah the right of allah's worship has been talked about that everything is due to allah subhanahu wa taala such as we are getting the provision if we are living in a state of peace if we are not facing calamity if we are making trade if we are earning money or if we are living our lives if all of these things are going normal who is doing this favor upon us it's allah subhanahu wa taala since they all are his favors it is his right that we worship him then comes surah maun this surah clearly says if man has belief in the hereafter he will uphold both things with him the rights of allah which have been mentioned in the form of prayer and the rights of the people of which three examples are here he treats orphan with kindness he helps the poor and he is big hearted for the people the given and taking of these little things and helping and making things easy for others will not be difficult for him since he will know the reward he is going to get so he will collect all these little acts of good this is the sign of those who think of the hereafter that they do not lean toward one side both sides are managed together knowing allah's right does not mean you will affect the rights of the people because this is a part of your religion the rights of the people is half of your religion when man upholds both allah's and people's right only then he moves towards preparing for the hereafter next is surah qathar which is a makki surah 
It says Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been granted kausar and we find many meanings of kausar. One meaning is of unlimited things which have been given to Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There are ahadith about the pond of kausar which will be there on the judgment day. We also find an ahadith the river of the kausar in the paradise. Then it mentions your enemy has perished. The disbelievers used to ask Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam nauzu billah who will be there to take your name. Today we hear Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name, touch our eyes in his honor, want to know more about him and read ahadith. So people take Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name more than anybody else's name. Thousands of people are ready to give their lives in the name of Islam and in the name of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then comes Surah Kafirun, which is a Makki surah. The special point of this surah is that it clarifies there is no compromise in the greatness of the religion. We have read from the start that Allah has sent this religion, so it may become dominant over all religions. Here also, disassociation has been expressed that we will not worship any other religion, nor will we worship any other entity, but we will not compromise either. Allah has commanded us to deliver the message that neither we will worship what you worship nor will you worship what we worship but we will not leave our religion or compromise on it this religion will not exist under another religion we read in surah tauba that the only choice people have is if anyone wants to remain within islam's greatness or if anyone wants to keep his religion established he will have to live as a zimmi islam cannot remain under any other religion in the end it says the path of yours and the path of ours are not the same meaning the one who are on allah's path and the one who disbelieve cannot go together next is surah nasr which is a madani surah It is said Allah's help will come very soon when you will be seeing victory and when you will be seeing many people are entering Islam. Here the advice is being given to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has spent his entire life sacrificing everything. Allah asked what the required behavior is. Praise to Allah, glorify him and ask for his help. Allah held you firm and made ease for you. After this, ask for Allah's forgiveness. Don't think I have done this all by myself. Rather think Allah granted you the opportunity. I said the same thing earlier. Whatever amount of the Quran we have read this month, it hasn't been done by us. Rather Allah has given us this opportunity. So it is very important to be grateful to Allah. Next is Surah Lahab, which is a Makki surah. Abu Lahab, who was one of the worst enemies of Islam, is mentioned in this surah along with his fate. Whatever he earned the word kasab has been used be it his children or his wealth nothing will be of use to him his wife will be with him and she will also have the same fate what is important here this is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's blood relative so once again this aspect has been revised that your relations won't be of use to you your acts will be next is surah ikhlas which is purely an invitation to the oneness of god say that allah is one this one sentence cuts the root of many evils and theories then it is said allah is self sufficient it is you who need to bend in prostration to him it is man's need since there is none equal to or greater than allah next the two surahs that come are surah falaq and surah nas the starting of both surahs has been same the starting of both surahs has the same thing so let's take them together The first thing is that we should all seek Allah's refuge. Refuge means we ask for Allah's protection and barrier. We need to hold him close. It should be similar to the situation in which a child gives a hug to his mother and shuts his eyes with the belief that she will save him now. This is the attitude we should have with Allah to come under Allah's shadow, to hold on to him, to put him forward and to put yourself back. Oh Allah just give me refuge because refuge can only be given by the Lord the one who provides for you the one whose lordship is so great that he is the creator owner and god of everything he alone can do it he has the power only he can help me i don't have the power he knows what i am asking him is right or not for me 
वट आई थिंक इज ईवल इट इज एक्चुअली गुड एंड वट आई थिंक इज गुड इट इज एक्चुअली ईवल आई डोंट नो वॉट टू डू वॉट टू प्रोटेक्ट माई सेल्फ फ्राम एंड वॉट नॉट टू सो यू शुड गिव योर सेल्फ इन अ लास्ट रेफ्यूज फ्राम ऑल द ईवल्स ईवल इंक्लूड्स ऑल द थिंग्स विच आर अनएक्सेप्टेबल टू मी पेन ग्रीफ लॉस प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वरीज सम ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विच इफेक्ट मी शुड गेट आउट ऑफ माई लाइफ some of these things which may be coming to me should save me from suffering both of these things are to be asked before allah therefore it has been instructed to read these surahs frequently especially daily before sleeping then the important things in both surahs are the refuge asked in surah fala from all the evils present on the earth next is the refuge from the darkness of the night when many sins and evils take place next is the refuge from the evil of the magicians then the refuge from the evil of the jealous people the refuge is repeatedly asked in surah nas are from the whispers of shaitan the whispers come from within inside me they also come from my nafs be it from jinns or men these whispers worry me so we need to ask for allah's help for all these things alhamdulillah we have completed the holy quran summary today and we should be thankful to allah that he gave us that opportunity and we also read the ayah that wa'tasimu bi hablil lah jami'an wa la tafarraqu hold firmly to the way rope of allah all together and do not become divided we saw the practical aspect of this we are the people of different fields with different backgrounds different temperaments and we are drawn to different things from different interests but how the quran has connected us this is the miracle of the holy quran yes it is true this is a beginners level we have to go toward a higher level we haven't read in detail yet quran demands us to go in great depths these were just glimpses which increased our interest tremendously don't let this interest vanish because it is this interest which will take us toward tafsir in detail interest and need make everything possible and we will achieve our target inshallah We will move forward and continue this struggle, this effort, inshallah taala. We also have to read Quran, understand it, apply it, convey its message to others, and live every aspect of our lives according to its teachings. Let us pray to Allah that He help us and make us easier for us to follow this path. Let's make dua. First of all, there is dua in Khatm al Quran. اللهم آنس وحشتي في قبري اللهم ارحمني بالقرآن العظيم واجعله لي إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم ذكرني منهما نسيت وعلمني منهما جهلت وارزقني تلاوته آناء الليل وآناء النهار واجعله لي حجة يا رب العالمين أو الله ريموف ماي هورر ان انزايتي فروم ماي غريف Bless me with the blessings and mercy of the great Quran. Make the Quran my guide and leader and at the same time the light and the cause of guidance and mercy. O oh Allah, remind me of that which I have forgotten. Teach me that which I do not know. Grant me its recitation night and day and make it a proof for me on the day of resurrection. O oh, the Lord of all the worlds. Amen. Allahumma ja'al al-Quran rabi'a qulubina. ونور صدورنا وجلاء احزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا او الله ميك ذا قران ذا سبرينغ اوف اور هارتس ذا لايت اوف اور بريست اند ذا مينز اوف كفرينغ اور سوروز اند ريموف اول اور سوروز اند غريفز ثرو ات امين سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله والله اكبر لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له الله اكبر كبينا والحمد لله كثيرا سبحان الله رب العالمين لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك او الله ذا تيرنر اوف هارتس ميك اوور هارت ستيت فاست اند فيرم ابون يور دين اللهم حاسبني حسابا يسيرا اللهم حاسبني حسابا يسيرا 
اللہ محاسب نے حساب یسیرا او اللہ گرانٹ می این ایزلی ریکننگ اللہ فقہ نی فدین او اللہ گرانٹ می انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دین اللہ الحم نی رشتی و عائف نی من شرری نفسی او اللہ انسپائر مائی ہارٹ ٹو گائیڈنس اینڈ سیو می فرام دا ایول آف مائی سول اللہ منی اس الو کا علم نافع و رزق طیب و عمل متقبلہ او اللہ آئی آسٹ یو فار بینیفیشل نالج پیور پروویژن اینڈ ایکسیپٹیبل ڈیڈس او اللہ فار گیو مائی آل سینس ویدر اسمال ونس اور کارڈینل ونس دا فرسٹ اینڈ دا لاسٹ دا پیرنٹ اینڈ دا ہڈن یو آر دا ون ہو پارڈنس یو لو ٹو پارڈن سو پارڈن می گرانٹ مائی سول اٹس پائٹی اینڈ پیوریفائی ایٹ فار یو آر دا بیسٹ ون ٹو پیوریفائی ایٹ او اللہ بینیفٹ می تھرو واٹ یو ٹیچ می and teach me what is beneficial for me and increase me in knowledge i ask you of guidance piety chastity and to be free of depending upon any one except you indeed i seek refuge with you from a bad character and manners and from dislike deeds desires and illness and i ask you of sound health chastity trustworthiness and good character O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you, lest I do shirk, though I am aware of it, and I seek your forgiveness for that shirk, which I have no knowledge of. I hope for your mercy, so do not entrust me to myself, even for a moment, and rectify all my affairs. There is no God but you. I seek your protection from knowledge that is not beneficial, and from a heart that does not fear, and from a soul that is not satisfied. and from a prayer that is not answered i seek refuge with you from an evil day an evil night an evil moment an evil companion and from all the evil things o oh allah make me one who is most patient and grateful make me small in my own eyes but great in eyes of others increase for us do not lessen from us o oh allah make me among those who turn to you in repentance and make me among those who are purified i ask you of every kind of good from that which i know and that i do not know and i seek with you from every kind of evil from that which i know and that i do not know grant me your love and the love of a person loving whom will be benefit to me near you o oh allah forgive me my faults my ignorance and exceeding in my matters and forgive me that about which you have more knowledge than me those done mistakenly those done intentionally and all these shortcomings that are in me forgive me have mercy on me guide me forgive me have mercy on me guide me provide me with sustenance and elevate me o oh allah forgive me whatever i have sent ahead on whatever i have delayed whatever i have hidden and whatever i have disclosed whatever i have exceeded in and whatever you have more knowledge i ask you of paradise and of that deed or speech that will be means of drawing near of it and i seek refuge with you from the fire and from the deed or speech that will be means of drawing near to it rectify for me my deen which is a means of guarding my matters and my world which is a means of my livelihood and make good my hereafter to which is my returning and make my life a means of abundance of all good and my death a means of comfort peace and freedom from all evil o allah who turns the hearts turn my heart towards your obedience amen ثم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ